Well, families who live with severe allergies certainly know the constant fear of a potential reaction. Tonight, a first-of-its-kind device that instantly, automatically treats that mm. reaction and the Framingham girl who inspired it. Dr. Malika Marshall shows us how this could save lives in the future in our series, Boston Next. She was a big personality. Her absence is felt pretty much every moment of every day. Just days before her 16th birthday, an allergic reaction turned deadly for Abby Benford of Hopkinton. One of her friends came downstairs and said, Abby, need you. So I asked her if she's okay, and she said, you know, I just can't move air, Dad. I think I'm, I just haven't, I need my inhaler. But it didn't occur to me that it was an anaphylactic reaction. Abby had lived her whole life with severe allergies, but this attack was different. Abby's first symptom that day was indigestion. So you're not going to give anybody an EpiPen for, to treat indigestion. Six minute window, she went from difficulty breathing to life threatening situation. Abby never regained consciousness. Even under the weight of incredible grief, Abby's parents, Amy and Stephen, were compelled to take action. And our motivation was to do something, do something to save lives. The Benfords launched the Keep Smiling for Abby Foundation, and their funding kick-started Project Abby at the Wies Institute in Boston. Uh, this is our compact variable smart auto-injector. And why is it called Abby? We want to keep our, ourselves motivated and then keep connected to the Abby story. The device delivers life-saving epinephrine with one major difference. The patient doesn't have to actually take it away from their body. No one has to thrust the needle into the patient and then pull it back out. The needle itself does all the work. The device itself automatically retracts the needle, so okay. which is something that like you don't also see in any other device. Users can even activate the dose through a smartphone if needed. That same app can help you locate the device. Now you hear the voice, sound, and then you know where it is and instantly text a parent about the reaction. But that's only half of the vision. Uh, little chips that we use to, uh, to detect histamine. Histamine spike when someone is having an allergic reaction. By taking a quick finger prick of blood, this chip would be the first ever allergy detection system. It will specifically tell you if you're having an allergy or it's more of a seasonal uh, cold. Separately, these devices could be on the market within two years, but the ultimate goal is to combine both technologies into one small wearable device. Really great that they've got a picture of Abby on there that sort of personalizes the problem. Abby's name on the device and photos on the wall provide a constant reminder of what's at stake. I want my daughter back. That can't happen. But it brings me peace to know that um, her legacy, she will save lives. That will give me peace. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBC News.